I'm Ian and this is Hashtag Camping Live. Although it's not actually live because if it was live it would be really, really expensive. Um, in this video we're, I'm going to show you how to take down and put your tent back into your bag which is something a lot of people struggle with. Okay, this is the High Gear Enigma 5. Uh, it's a tunnel tent. Um, pretty similar process to taking down most tents. Uh, first of all, um, take out your guy lines. If it's a windy day, um, make sure you leave the tent pegged in, because once you've taken all the poles out and everything, it'll have no weight and it can blow away. So just leave your corner pegs in. Um, so then just simply fold the guy lines away. Don't, if you don't fold the guy lines away, it's a good question, Mike. If you don't fold the guy lines away, uh, when you get it out next time, it'll all be tangled up and you won't be able to get them straight. It's basically just a case of halving it, halving it, folding it over sticking it back to itself. Next thing to do is, with tents, don't leave, don't actually zip the doors up, or the windows, because um, you want to be, allow the air to flow out, but you don't want to have them rolled up, because then when you're folding it, it can make a uh, bit of a stiff area when you're rolling it. With most of these tents, when you first buy them, you put the, you have to clip in the bedroom. When you're taking them down, you can just leave the bedroom in, and then next time you put it up, the bedroom will already be there. The advantage of having short pole sleeves on the roof with tents like this is you can push them out for a bit, but then they do just slide out, which is much easier than full pole sleeves where they kind of get stuck. This is also much easier if you've got somebody to help you, but uh, fortunately everybody's holding cameras, so I'm doing this on my own. And these are quite hard to get out, so what would have been handy at this point is a, uh, a peg puller, which is basically just a a handle with a hook on the bottom and you can just hook it around the pegs and they come out really easily. Thankfully I'm really strong so I can just do it all. <laughs> Broke the tent. Okay let's pretend that didn't happen. So what you should always do is use a peg puller and don't just pull the don't just pull this out of the ground because you can break your tent. <laughs> Uh, okay, moving on. Um, so this is the key bit, the actual folding away and getting it back into the bag. Um, so that's the size of your bag, that's the size of your tent. It's actually dead easy. Um, again, make sure your door is open, because when you roll it up, roll it this way, you need all the air to come out of the tent. Um, so the bag is about yay wide. So when we actually fold it up, we want it to be the same width, so when it rolls, it fits in nice and neatly. So, fold it over. Well, I've just estimated that the uh, my folds are about the same width as the bags. So if we lay it on there, you'll see it's about the same width. There'll be um, there'll be Colin who works in our Sheffield store and Pete who works in our Wakefield store. Who'll be watching this and uh, thinking uh, Ian is getting this horribly wrong. But uh, if it goes back in the bag, then I've won. So if you get your poles and your pegs. You start rolling it, trying to make it as tight as possible. And as you go and you're squashing all the air out, and because the door's open, you'll force all that air out and it'll have, uh, be able to escape at the front. There you go. There's a really pretty rushed explanation of how to get a uh, Enigma 5 back into its bag. Cheers.